my Euro oh, yeah. fellow. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, I'm here with Brendan Yuri from Pen Disco, and we're gonna ask him some questions. So first of all, I reached out to my audience and um, asked them what they really wanted to ask you. And I think one question that stood out the most was, "What instrument you cannot play?" <laughs> That's Is there a good an instrument question. you cannot play? Oh, there's plenty. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. Um, I'm not very good at saxophone. Oh, right. I tried it once when I was like 12, and I was very bad. Um, I tried bagpipes. I'm terrible at bagpipes. Bagpipes are very difficult. Is bagpipes like this, this Scottish? All <laughs> yeah. oh, right. Yeah. It's the very loud, annoying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those two I'm really terrible at. I'm having quite a hard time describing what this album sounds like to oh, someone okay. who hasn't heard it yet. Sure. Except for the fact that it kind of feels like. A party. Okay. Um, <laughs> awesome. But I think there are so many genres in this album alone. So do you do you even care about fitting into uh, a certain genre or a certain image? Uh, genre, no, not really. I like to bounce around. Yeah, because uh, on this album, yeah, party is good. But it sounds like a party that makes me happy. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's great. It's a good description. Um, yeah, there's a song on there. There's a couple songs that sound like Frank Sinatra, kind of. There's a couple moments in songs that sound like Queen. And then, you know, there's like really heavy electronics in it. It's, it is tough to describe, I guess. So you'd have to just take a chance and listen. But I don't know. Like, it's, it's tough to fit into it one genre for me because I bounce around so much. Yeah. I get really bored uh, really easily. So I write a verse and then I want to write something totally different sometimes. Right. Yeah. It's it's really nice because um, I'm actually I'm working on my first album. Awesome. And your album is kind of an example for me because I like yeah. so many types of music mm -hmm. that I don't want to choose. And oh, people yeah. tell me, oh, you have to search it for a different like a yeah. certain sound or yeah. something. And I I think you did really well because you maintained the the panic sound mm -hmm. without. Um, rather than having a rock song and a jazz song. That's and cool. I, it's so, that was really nice. Awesome. Well, I just appreciate that. Why to put that? Yeah, it's out more there. fun that way, right? To just jump around. I like jumping around. You're on tour right now. Mm -hmm. What song do you enjoy most performing live? Mm. Uh, does it have to be a panic song? No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we do a version of Bohemian Rhapsody. I you love. still do it? Oh yeah. Oh, nice. I don't think I ever want to stop playing it because it's so much fun. Yeah, I like doing that song. You've been doing a lot of covers. Yeah. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. Are yeah. we expecting some? Can we expect some covers tonight from you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. Uh, we do a couple different ones. Yeah. So we do Queen. Sometimes we'll do um, like Led Zeppelin for fun. We'll do like AC/DC. We'll do Journey. Nice. We do. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a Beyonce cover because oh, I really yes. love that new album. So I'm trying to figure figure something out. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm already curious. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I know a lot of your influences are like really old artists, like yeah. Frank Sinatra and Queen and mm -hmm. David Bowie and stuff. Do you mm -hmm. listen to new music at all? Yeah. I de yeah. I definitely listen to new music. I just um, like everybody knows the new music, so it's more fun to tell people about the old stuff that I listen to. But yeah, I listen to all kinds of new stuff. I mean. I'm, yeah, I'm all about Beyonce, obviously. Um, Kendrick Lamar is great. Oh, nice. Uh, Weekend, I love his voice. You know, it's kind of Michael Jackson-esque, which I love. Um, I love Taylor Swift. I gotta say that. Oh, I, love God. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> do you like all these artists? I, I love all I these do. artists. I do. Yeah, but it, I mean, when you look at you, you you don't think. Well, Taylor think Swift. he'll listen to. Let's see. I'm Taylor Swift. Yeah. No. From a songwriting standpoint, I think she's right, great. Yeah. yeah phenomenal. Um, she's a good performer too. Yeah. I don't know. I like uh, I like some new stuff. There's like some indie artists that are really cool. Do you have any recommendations? Oh man, let me think. Um, I really like Beach House. I was listening to Beach House today, and they're not necessarily new. They've been around for a little bit, but they're really cool. It's kind of like more mellow kind of sounds, but yeah, I like Beach House a lot. You know who's great and funny is Action Bronson. He's pretty great. He's, mm. he's a rapper from Queens, New York. Uh, Lil Dicky is another rapper who's I know Lil awesome. Dickie. He's so funny. Did you see the music video that he shot uh, without having a budget? Yeah. Yeah. That's so smart. He just That's went to people's so nice. houses and was like, "Can I shoot at your house?" Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah. Really nice. He's a funny guy. Let's see. Your new music video just came out. Yeah. And first of all, I loved it. Thanks. Because of the darkness, I think. Yeah. Also with the Emperor's new clothes. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the, well, not a bit of darkness. It was just all darkness <laughs> really dark. throughout. Yeah. Pretty evil. Yeah. Uh, but I liked it. Thank um, you. Was it a big challenge to film? Because, especially because you kind of, um, to the end of the video, you had to be the cameraman and the actor. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. Yeah, to do Don't Threaten Me with a Good Time, 
was pretty difficult, mostly for the girl in it. Yeah. Um, she had she had to wear the thing the whole time. She had to wear these high heels and like dance. We had to do a dance routine, and she had to run around. And I mean, this this rig that she wore was really difficult because it was a backpack and a headpiece, so you couldn't really you had to like kind of walk like this. Yeah. So it was very awkward. But she did a really good job. Yeah, and so it was it was pretty difficult, and there was a day that we shot, um, usually, I mean, we shot in Los Angeles where I live, mm -hmm. and it's usually pretty warm there, you know, the weather's usually yeah. pretty beautiful, but it was freezing cold one night, and oh. I had to be naked, basically, I was right. just in my underwear, yeah. so I was just laying on the ground, like, freezing, <sighs> so I don't know, if you pause, like, part of the thing, and I'm laying on the ground, you can see I'm just, like, shaking, <laughs> but it was so far away, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it was, it was, like, tough to shoot, but ultimately just really fun. It yeah, was really cool to see the behind the scenes, because, uh, oh, yeah. You, when you see it, you're wondering, okay, so how does the tentacle <laughs> thing work? But they're all That's people so in green fun. screens too. Green, so yeah, nice. they were just holding me up. It was so like DIY. It was really cool. Cool. Have like you ever it. done a, a music video like that? No, like, never like that with the green. I mean, we did a green screen thing. And stuff. Yeah, we've done like CGI uh, video for a song, Hallelujah. We did basically oh, right, all CGI, course, yeah. but that was just like to mimic a video game on the iPad. But yeah, that was totally different. Yeah, I don't know. That was the first time I had guys in green suits like holding me yeah. up. It was really crazy. Nice. Yeah. You're probably the most active person I know uh, in general uh -oh. like, on Periscope. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I like Periscope. <laughs> um, so I was wondering what's, what do you like most about live streaming? Um, I like the live streaming. It's like uh, when, when you get the chat in there and you can interact that way. So, you know, fans will ask me questions and I can answer it immediately instead of taking time to type something. Yeah. So you just get an immediate answer, which I really, really like. And I don't know, like I, when I started doing it, I did it because I wasn't sure what it was really. I didn't know how to work it. So when I first used Periscope, I just would put my phone up and I would make breakfast and I would just eat it. Right. And I wouldn't really talk. It was really weird. It was like 20 minutes of me just making breakfast and eating, like silently just watching people like type to me. It was really awkward. <laughs> So I do that sometimes for fun, but I don't know. It gets a little weird sometimes. <laughs> but it's nice though because you can yeah. connect with a lot of people without yeah. actually being on a stage. Yeah. Or yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Do you do you do the live stream too? I don't do it that much. Yeah. Actually, right. yeah. I should do it more because it's so easy. You yeah. could just be, oh, maybe not for me, but you could be in your underwear at home. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just talking to so many people. <laughs> yeah. It's so comfortable, you know. I could. Yeah. I know. I'm. Yeah. It's dangerous. I would be in my underwear. I would just be naked. And, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> you have a, uh, a gorgeous wife. Oh, thank you. She is very beautiful. She is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Is Sarah involved in your in your process of making music at all? So do you does she give feedback? Do you share little little things with her? Yeah, everybody that um, surrounds me is is involved in some way. I, I I I have a belief that anybody I come in contact with, you included, anybody that you meet, anyone you talk to will later be an inspiration for something. Yeah. Um, it may be subconscious, or you might not even know that it happened that way, but every interaction you have, it kind of has this butterfly effect. Like, if you didn't meet that person, you probably wouldn't have written this thing, you know? Of course, um, yeah. I just think that that's really interesting. I like that theory. So yeah, I believe that pretty pretty aggressively that, that that's the case. Um, so yeah, she definitely does, I mean. And I always, you know, she's got the ear to where, um, you know, you. Like for me, I get really over analytical and I analyze things way too much. And so I'll give it to her because she can actually sit down and enjoy music just like a, you know, a fan. Yeah. And so when I finish a song, I show her and she's like, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> then I'll be like, okay, I got to change something. Doesn't it make yeah. you nervous having people, uh, someone so close to you, like judging what you make? Is, is it more yeah. nerve wracking to um, play stuff for her or for like another producer? Yeah, um, I mean, it's it's always, I'm always nervous to show people anything I've worked on, but I, th I think, yeah, I'm more nervous, like, showing a producer or somebody, right, yeah. especially, like, my, my friend Jake, who's a really talented producer, showing him because he's very honest, he doesn't hold anything back, like, my wife will be honest with me too, but he is brutally honest, like, he'll, you know, if I show him a part, he's like, why would you write that? That's stupid. I was like, okay. <laughs> So it's a little more aggressive, but I love him to death. He's awesome. It, it helps, yeah. You need a, a little bit of that. Yeah, you need some, yeah, you need some, like, kickback, yeah. What's your shower gem? My shower gem? It's usually Frank Sinatra. I, I put on Frank Sinatra and I have a speaker in my bathroom. And I'll just sing along to him. Harmonize with Frank. And, and what do you think is the best love song ever made? Oh, that's it's really hard. That's but, tough. Know. Yeah, that's really tough. There's so many good ones. Um, or maybe not the best, but just a really, a really, a really good, good one. Uh, there's two. I listen to um, 
Bonnie Raitt, I Can't Make You Love Me. That's like one of my favorite songs of all time. It's really sad. Because the, I mean, the message is really sad. It's, you know, I can't make you love me if you don't. And that's really, really sad. It's really yeah. defeatist. Uh, but Frank Sinatra has a song called All the Way, which I think is really pretty, you know. When somebody loves you, they love you all the way. Yeah, it's really cool. Nice. Yeah. The ultimate karaoke song. Oh, man. It's probably a Queen song or yeah. Journey or something. I, so, I like yeah. doing, yeah. <laughs> Queen Bohemian Rhapsody is probably like, the best one. But you're, you're already doing it. I'm already doing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so. we're actually doing it live. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I know this is a really hard one too, but what's your favorite song on the new album now? Oh, okay. For, for me, it's the title track, Death of a Bachelor. It's my favorite one. I think cool. it's really cool because I, I didn't expect it to end up that way. I was trying to write just a Sinatra song and then I put like a Beyonce drunken love hip hop beat to it and it worked out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Really is cool. it also because it's it's really different from the stuff you've done? Yeah, exactly. It sounded so different from anything I had done before. And that makes me the most excited, you know, when it's so out of my element. I love it. Last one. This is a true or false question. Okay. This, this one is really important to me. Okay. There's a line in Crazy Equals Genius oh, yeah. that says, you can set yourself on fire, but you're never gonna burn. Right. Is it about... The Stormworm from the Game of Thrones. Oh man, no, I mean that is a good tie-in. That is a good tie-in. Oh my god. But it was so funny. My Khaleesi, yeah. my Khaleesi. Hold the door, hold the door. Oh no. Oh my heart's breaking. Oh, yeah. God, it was so I sad. should start saying that, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Khaleesi, that's my she's beautiful. Yeah, I uh, I mean that's a that's a no, good I, point. I I'm, I'm gonna it. start saying that though. That's that's the new reason behind <laughs> it, yeah. That's that awesome. is so funny. <laughs> Okay, very well that cool. was it. Thank well, awesome. you. Thank you very much. Thanks. That's fun. Let's do a high five. Yeah. Alright. I like Thanks. it. Thanks. Very cool. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Nice right. questions. Yeah, you have uh, 30 seconds left, so... Uh, can Maybe you take some, some more games on to yeah, yeah. <laughs> take, take a picture together. <laughs>